And he started all this trouble. What trouble? That's racism, racism and all that. The division of the United States has all come from Obama. Given all that we know and have seen out of Trump supporters over the years, you can probably guess what this woman is going to say next. In what way? Because he's black and he tore it one way and tore it one way. And I mean, they, they expect you to believe what they say and not let the American people think for themselves. I think we had about enough. Even her husband seems to have had enough sense to ditch the interview before she got a little reckless. I'm probably going to regret saying this, but I firmly hold that Obama's still in the White House. I think Obama is pushing Joe's buttons. Those are his people. Surely he wants to give his people time to resupply and regroup. When you say his people, whose people? Islam. Or whose people? Obama. Obama's. Why, why do you say that? Well... He wrote it in his book. He, yeah, it's... Said, it's, the wind, it's po- political winds shall shift, I stand with my brothers. And he's talking about the Muslim Brotherhood. What you won't hear from either of these nutcases is that former President Barack Obama was and still is a staunch supporter of Israel, sending tens of billions of dollars over throughout and after his term. But to these people, bigotry always takes precedent over facts and truth. I got to say, I voted for him first First time. time. Then one year, almost to the day, it shifted. It changed. He was a snake in the grass then, and he's a snake in the grass now. They're just a different bunch. What's one thing that Trump did when he was president, one thing that made your life better? Well, kept the illegal immigrants at a minimum. And how did that help your life specifically? (laughs) Because, you know, he's... (sighs) And this is exactly what we're talking about. When given some actual pushback and asked to rationalize his hatred toward immigrants, his worldview starts to unravel. Well, with all the the people coming over here and the drugs and all that over here, I mean, the kids ain't got a chance. First thing you want to see him do? Build that wall. Still build that wall. Southern Southern border, yep. Yep. Close it. We don't need all these extra people in here. It's enough. What happened to our borders are? What happened to Kamala? What has she done? She's done nothing. She just, don't get me going on that. One thing he did to make your life better. What I really am concerned about is the border and all the people coming through. I I was not worried about that. I felt safe when he was president. I don't feel safe now. Even in the middle of Iowa. Up here, we get them too. We We get illegal immigrants all the time. And so, who knows who's coming through the border, right? Right, well, you know, there is a process for most of them who are coming across. I, I think most of them are coming across illegally. That's my opinion. You say there's a process. The process is, hi, how you doing? Here's some water. Go on in. Have that. That's the process. There is. I don't believe that there's any other process than just people coming on in. Even this woman, who herself recognizes that her opinion is not fact, she still believes and asserts her personal bigotry as fact. Well, I'll be very honest with you. I am all about biblical, civical truth. And he was too. He believed in one man, one woman for marriage. He did not believe in abortion. He did not believe in the LGBTQ, whatever they're doing. He wasn't trying to destroy America, but build it up according to the principles of the Bible. And then we have people like this who are completely detached from reality and view Trump as a legitimately religious person who also works in the best interest of the people. The two biggest lies his supporters totally eat up. Oh, he gives me hope that someone will stand up for it. As the Bible also says, whenever there's times of great trouble and you're his people, that he will provide a leader. And I do believe that Trump is our leader that God has given us. He speaks his mind, and that's what we love about him. He doesn't sugarcoat anything. He tells it like it is. And that's, I think, what America wants to hear. They already know it, but now they're really going to feel it. Because once Trump gets in, it's going to get heavy and hard, and he's, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna go to work. I just think they're, they're ganging up on Trump 
as a way to try to disqualify him. And I just don't think that's right. And what about what they've done to Hunter Biden with indicting him for felonious gun ownership and tax evasion? I think they need to go after Hunter Biden however they can. But not Donald Trump. No. So there's the double standard. (laughs) Maybe.